Disclaimer This is an imagination written by author's perspective. It has nothing to do with real life. It's only for entertainment purpose. I own the storyline and narration. So please don't copy and repost my work. Thank you. Dad, yes, your daughter. Voyan was pregnant and today she gave birth to her. Jungkook became shocked and numb. He didn't have any idea about your pregnancy and suddenly your father is telling him that now he is a father of a baby. First time Mr. John is feeling guilty but still he is not ready to accept his mistake. He don't want to lose his pride. He is so selfish. He is so blind because of power and money. That's why he is snatching his own son happiness. He can't see his son pain. Jungkook eyes became teary and he started feeling sorry for you and his daughter. He is hating himself because he was not with you in your pregnancy. He knew that you need him but still he was not there for you. Dad, Jungkook, we want your help. Only you can save your child because she is AB negative. She have rare blood group just like you. She need you. Please help us. Teary eyes. Dad, she have shortage of blood and doctors don't have AB negative blood group in their blood bank. And it's impossible to find that blood group. So Jungkook, please help us. Please help your daughter. Your dad said while joining his both hands in front of Jungkook. Jungkook is also crying because he is feeling so guilty. He hate himself for leaving you because of his father pressure. Jungkook, please take me to my love and my daughter. I am sorry for everything. I want to meet them. I want to save my baby. I can't believe that I am a father now. Jungkook sat with teary eyes and a smile on his face. He is crying and he is feeling happy at the same time. He is happy that finally he became father and he is sad because his baby is weak and need help. Dad, come with me Jungkook. Your dad and Jungkook both were about to walk together. But then Mr. John come in front of Jungkook to stop him. Mr. John, Jungkook, where are you going? You promised me that you'll marry Ruby. Then where are you going? You can't go anywhere, Mr. John said with serious voice. Jungkook, Dad, please leave my way. Today I'll not listen to you because my Vyan and my baby need me. Please, Dad, let me go to them. They need my help, Jungkook said while joining his hands in front of his father. Mr. John, no Jungkook, you can't go to them. Just forget that you have a daughter. Before Mr. John can complete his sentence, Jungkook cut him off. Jungkook, enough dad. How you can do this with your own son? Don't you have hurt? There your granddaughter is fighting for her life and you are stopping me to help my own child. Teary eyes. Jungkook, I can't believe that you are a dad because you can't understand my feelings. Now I am also a father and I also want my child's best. I'll go and help her and no one can stop me. Jungkook, Dad, you are not understanding that one day this attitude and cruelty of yours separate you from your loved ones. And that one day is today. 
from today i am not your obedient son teary eyes jungkook i listen to your every word just because of you i leave my first and lonely love in this time but still you were not satisfied and wanted to marry me to someone else jungkook but now i am saying this with heavy heart that i don't want to stay in this house i am leaving this house forever and please if you ever loved me then respect my decision jungkook said this all with heavy heart and he was crying while saying this he don't want to leave his family but his dad behavior make him like this now he can't tolerate more jungkook was about to left from there but just then his mom hold his hand and jungkook looked back and saw his mom's teary eyes mrs john please jungkook don't leave your house and family son you know that i can't live without you please don't leave me she said while crying jungkook mom if you want to stay with me then come with me because i can't stay here jungkook said and mrs john looked at mr john and after some time she nodded mrs john come on son let's go when mrs john said this mr john eyes became widened and he shocked that his son and wife are leaving him jungkook and mrs john left from there and mr john is crying because he wanted to stop them but he can't because he know that he was wrong and now he can't stop them time skip jungkook mrs john and your dad reached at the hospital and your dad called the doctor and informed them about jungkook and they started the process to donate the blood after donating the blood to the baby he wants to meet you so he asked your father about you jungkook where is vyan dad she is there he pointed towards a room and jungkook went towards that room and entered inside he entered inside and saw that you are looking outside and your eyes are teary he wants to hug you badly but he don't have courage vine so finally you come by the way congratulations for your marriage and please don't break your promises this time you smiled and jungkook eyes were teary Vyan but Jungkook but he said that he'll kill you if I didn't broke up with you that's why I broke up with you because I don't want to lose you teary eyes you can see pain in his eyes and you know that he's saying truth because you know about his father he can do anything but still you are angry because he didn't fight for you Jungkook please Vyan give me one chance this time i'll not leave you and my daughter now our daughter is safe so please start a new life with our beautiful family vyan thank you so much jungkook for saving my baby but i'm sorry i can't give you one more chance you said and jungkook became sad and his heart broke into million pieces jungkook why vyan 
teary eyes when i can't give you one more chance because you have torn it prove your love again prove yourself again then we'll start again when i know jungkook that you were helpless because of your father but still i am hurt so i can't forgive you right now jungkook it's okay when i'll win your heart again smile this is how everything became normal and you and jungkook again start living together with your little angel mrs john is also living with you